r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. Has any redditor been kidnapped? If yes. What is your story? My old teammate got kinda kidnapped. Nicest guy you'll ever meet. Told me a story about when he got kidnapped. Mind you he was a 190 pounds college athlete at the time. Essentially he got carjacked and shoved in his own trunk. But the perpetrators just wanted to use his car for a joyride. So after a night of speeding, smoking blunts in his car, and doing whatever else, they got pulled over by the police. He said the looks on the cops was something else thinking they were coming up on a routine traffic stop only to find the driver owner was in the trunk of the car. The driver was in the trunk of the car. That is a neat trick. When I was around 7-8 years old, my mom took me to a karate lesson for the first time. The dojo was in a strip mall. The lesson ended and as I was leaving the room, for whatever reason I was the last one out. A man approached me asking if I enjoyed the lesson. I told him I did and asked if he was a friend of my mom. He was dressed normally, not an instructor, and didn't have a kid with him. So I was confused as to his interest in me. He told me he was not a friend of my mom's, but that he and I would be friends. He put his arm around my shoulder and started walking towards the front door. As we approached the exit, I saw my mom chatting with the instructor in his office through the small window on the door. The office was right next to the exit and the handle within reaching distance. I quickly reached for the door handle, turned, and pushed. The man left my side and walked out the front door before the door to the office fully swung open. I walked in and the instructor slash my mom start asking about the lesson. If I enjoyed it. Etc. As we talked. I asked about the man. Neither the instructor or my mom seemed to know who I was talking about and shrugged it off. After we left. I told my mom it wasn't for me and never went back. It wasn't until a decade later when I finally grasped the possibility of the situation. I wish the instructor had rearranged that guy's face with his feet. I was kidnapped when I was younger. But I didn't realize it at the time. My uncle and my aunt were going through a divorce. And he was staying at our house with my cousin. One day he said we were going on a trip. I was young. And I loved going on trips. So I didn't think anything of it. He took us from Connecticut to Minnesota. And we stayed there for a few days. What I didn't know was he was about to lose custody of my cousin. So he took us and ran. I think he also took me just because I was there and he didn't want to leave me home alone. He was arrested shortly afterwards and sadly he killed himself in jail. How old were you? Was he a nice uncle? I lived in Cambodia. I was at the local market with my then 2 year old daughter. I turn around and she was gone. I was in a complete panic. Rushing around searching for her. I had to pay to local police $200 to do their job. That's how it was back then. My daughter turned up on the border. The person who took her was trying to take her out of the country. The only reason she was noticed was because she had a distinctive yellow t-shirt on. This was 13 years ago. She wasn't traumatized by the event. Thankfully. She was too young to remember. The man who took her got sent to prison for 15 years. That's the last we heard of him. I've heard of people saying you should always take a pic of your kid before you go somewhere with them to help identify them if they go missing. I always wondered if it actually made a difference. I guess it really can. When I have kids. I think I'm gonna want them to wear weird bright yellow crap now. I was kidnapped as a child by my stepfather. Don't remember much of the details I just remember being told that it was quite a big deal in my small town. I was only returned when my stepfather was given 100 cost. Queensland? I was almost kidnapped once. I was visiting the mall with some others and left alone to go to the bathroom. Which was down a long isolated hallway. When I came out of the women's bathroom. A dirty old man rushed out of the men's and pinned me up against the wall. There was an emergency exit at the end of the hallway. And he was dragging me toward it when another dude came out of the bathroom. He was big and bald and looked like a biker. Complete with vest. He yelled hey. And the old man dropped me and ran. I was 15 at. When I was like 5 I was playing in front of my grandma's house. I guess a man just scooped me up and put me on his back and started running. 
My grandma somehow quickly realized what's happening and all the kids started screaming. So she started the run after him and as he was getting further every woman from each house comes out with their flip flop in their hands. The guy gets scared and drops me off and runs off. Now I didn't understand what was happening. I just have the memory of being on someone's back and that person running. I remember all the women one by one coming out. Imagine tightly put small row houses, including my grandma. You and I were both very lucky. Who knows what would have happened if these men got away with us. I've posted this story before. But here goes. I was in Turkey for a while in my early 20s with two friends. We had made quite a few friends in the coffee shops. They were mostly Kurdish and I was pretty oblivious to the racial tension there. One day walking through the market. Five men walked up to us. The four beefiest surrounded us while the fifth told us we were invited to tea at his place and to come. He was all smiles but the beefy dudes and general posture of them all made it clear what the score was. We were escorted back to a shop with a few more scary guys and the patriarch of the family. The doors were closed and bolted. And the window shades drawn down. For the next 5 hours we were guests. It started mostly outwardly polite and utterly terrifying with polite veiled threats. When they served us tea, we were sure it would be drugged. But couldn't refuse and escalate the situation. It culminated with them trying to hand the three of us swords. While the rest of them stood around us with swords in hand smiling and talking about how some of them had been in the family for generations and been used to take the heads off of western Europeans in the crusades. BS I'm sure. But the point was taken. We remained calm and kept declining the swords politely as they got angrier and angrier. They finally let us go with a warning to mind who we associated with because sometimes people disappear. Scariest 5 hours of my life and I have no idea how it ended well for us. This is so so scary. Almost kidnapped in CA when I was 5. My cousins and I were playing in the front yard and two guys drove up. The passenger said hey kids. Wanna go for a ride? Ask he talked the driver got out and approached us. All I remember now is the mix of confusion and fear and don't talk to strangers. Luckily my dad walked out to see what was going on and they took off. There were reports of two men in an 80s model suburban that apparently kidnapped a 12 year old girl down the street. That last part was something my mom always told me. But she also had a knack for lying to scare me straight into the arms of Jesus. So. Who knows. I was a similar age playing in my front yard and a guy drove up and said. Hey. Do you know where the McDonald's is around here? If you show me where I'll get you a ice cream cone. And I was super excited so I said. Yeah I know where it is. Let me go ask my dad. And started to head inside and the guy drove off immediately. I was sad because I thought he had pulled a prank on me. Didn't tell my dad. It wasn't until years later that I realized what was up. Not me but my roommate at the time. We lived in Johannesburg. And studied at the local university. One day I'm at class and he is at home. He steps outside to get something from his car. It's a typical saw block of flats with tall walls and a motorized steel gate. Some guy climbs over the gate. Runs up to him and throws him inside the house. Demands he gets the house keys and drags him outside to his car that was waiting on the street. He then takes my friend on a trip around Johannesburg. Collecting debts owed to him. Can only imagine he is a drug dealer. After a good 6 hours of driving around. My friend is now scared shitless. The guy takes him home. Drives into the driveway. Strolls into the house and locks him in his room while he casually takes a shower. He comes back out and steals everything from my friend. Clothes and all. Makes himself a sandwich and leaves like nothing happened. My friend is still traumatized and this happened around 5 years ago. Lesson to learn. Always keep your house locked. Even if you have fancy security. Electric fences and all that jazz. Sometimes this country amazes me. Johannesburg is wild. My friend was almost kidnapped once. She had found some people online she wanted to meet. After much debate I agreed to go with her to meet them in a park. Since I had a bad feeling I brought my dog with me just as a little security measure. They gave my friend alcohol but didn't drink themselves. After hanging out with them for a while I decided it was time to go. 
We started walking towards one way and they walked towards the opposite way to their friend who had came in a van to pick them up. They call out for my friend to come and meet their friend. Drunk and stupid as she was she hurries over there and the driver grabs her arm and tries to pull her into the car. She is resisting so he dropped his grip on her and she falls back on the ground. It happened very fast and I was far away from them. So I took of the leash from my dog and took hold on the collar and got him all excited. My dog is growling and pulling against them by now and I scream that I will send the dog on them if they don't stop. They open the back of the van and tries to grab her again. Then I let my dog loose. My scary looking dog ran growling at full speed against them and then they let her go and jumped in the car and drove away. She was lucky that I brought my kind of unstable dog that day. My kind of unstable dog lol. Out of curiosity. What kind of dog do you have? Not me. My public speaking teacher was telling us how she had another class do a 5 min speech on something important in their lives. Most were boring ass presentations, mostly hobbies or a weird vacation in Cuba. Then a guy finishes his presentation with. And that's when the FBI showed up and rescued me. Because the people vacationing with me were not. In fact. My family, there were drug dealers who'd kidnapped me from my home. Smuggled me to Cuba. And were demanding dollar sign XM for my safe return. Damn. A friend of mine. Not me. So my pal goes to Bolivia every year and always tries to convince us to come with him. We never do. Because he casually mentions to bring kidnap money with us. Long story short. Coke is dirt cheap in the rural area his family lives. A big round of drinks at certain bars will come with 2-3 grams of complimentary coke. And he loves the white stuff. Anyway. Every year he goes he gets kidnapped. They treat him good. No harm. Gets a semi-decent meal etc. And the ransom is like 150 pounds or something equally irrelevant. Apparently they once accepted 50 pounds for his release. So overall the coke ends up costing about the same if you factor in the kidnapping charges. When I was like 10. A friend's mother abandoned me in another state while she kidnapped her own children. I was spending the weekend at a friend's house. The friend's mother had a manic episode and decided to leave her husband and move in with her recently deceased sister's widower. He lived in Vermont. We lived in Georgia. She packed us into the minivan at 5am and took off. Her two oldest children, 13 and 15, got pretty upset so she left the three of us with an aunt in Pennsylvania. It was pretty terrifying for my parents. If I was your parents, you'd never leave my sight again was around 4 years old and playing by myself in our apartment's playground area. A man pulled up in his car and beckoned me over to him. Once I got there he kinda gestured for me to come closer to his window and then asked me what time it was. Me trying to help him out turned around quickly and ran to my apartment to ask my mother what time it was. She. Confused because her 4 year old suddenly inquires about time in general. Asks why. I tell her the man in his pajamas outside wants to know. She rushes outside and said man speeds off. I'm older now and realize he was not in pajamas. He was in boxer shorts. You're leaving out the most important part. What was the time? Not me. My sister. Didn't get her but sure they were up to something. I think I was about 6 or 7 when two guys in a white van pulled up outside our house. Me and my sister were riding our scooters up and down out front. My sister was about 4 at the time and they'd pulled up next to her. I remember hearing them say do you want some sweeties? And watching her walk straight up to the van. Literally threw the scooter down. Ran over. Grabbed her and started shouting really loudly this man is a stranger. While attempting to drag her back in. She was screaming and crying because she wanted the sweets. The guys sat there until my dad came out the front door. I don't know if they were hoping she'd get away from me and run to them. And that's why they stayed that extra minute or so while I was screaming. They dangled the bag out of the window to tempt her. It was a white van and Werther's originals. So the typical stereotype dirty old man tools. My mum was beside herself once she found out. Super wary after that. Damn. Good job 6 or 7 year old you. Almost. Although I didn't realize it until way way later. My parents both worked a lot and so I had a nanny basically to pick me up from school. 
One day she didn't show. But some dude I'd never seen before did and was asking around trying to find me. Saying that she'd been injured and sent him to take me home. I'd never seen him before. And he had no idea who he was looking for. 100% sure in retrospect that I'd have been kidnapped if I'd gone with him. My parents had a code word with my sister and I for this sort of situation. If someone showed up to pick us up from school. Friend's house. ETC who wasn't the person originally supposed to pick us up we were to ask them for the password. Even if they were a dear family friend or other relative we were supposed to ask. If they actually had been sent by my parents they would know the password. If not then under no circumstances were we to go anywhere with them. Ducking like and subscribe.